Hi, I'm Willem, and if you're new here, I'm converting my own Volkswagen Transporter into a camper van. I've quit my job, and I'll soon be travelling around Europe on my own. So tune in to join the conversion and follow me all around Europe. All right, so today's job, we're trying to get the solar panels done. Drafted in Tynan to help us out. Yep. You've got to drill a hole in the roof of the van, well, eight holes, actually nine holes. Got to drill all the panels on. Drill through the roof of the van to fit the waterproof cable in. Once these are fitted, we'll then have full off grid set up all done. Let's see how we get on. So, I think we've got the basic set up. So we've mounted the fixing points. We've then taken, we're gonna wire, you can wire panels in two different ways. We're gonna wire them in series, negative, positive, and then a negative run into the van, and a positive run into the van. Just need to now get them on the van make some pilot holes, and then put some sealant on and fix the mounting points. So these wires will go through these, tighten them up to make them waterproof, and that should be it. So now is the hard part, actually getting these onto the van and fitting them and then drilling all the pilot holes. So let's do that. Is the boat connected by that? I've got that one. Right, so we've got both the panels up here now, um, just roughly got them in the mounting points. So what we've got, all the cable in ready. So at this point we've got to cover it with a sheet just because they're going to be generating power now. So these will have some power to come into them. Um, next thing to do is line them up where we want them, drill some pilot holes, fix the panels in place, and then it will be a case of putting the wire in through the van. Now putting the wire in through the van here down this pillar because underneath is where the battery is. So that's where the um, shortest point to the battery system is and then once all the cabinets have been built up I'll have all my control panel around this, this part of the van behind the driver's seat so next job cover these panels up and then get to work with fixing them in place. Right so found the um, position we're going to drill it in. I'm just going to drill a little pilot hole straight in line with this and hopefully this should be the right place. Let's give it a go. Oh mate, it went straight through. Yeah, that goes through easy. Keep feeding it. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Whoa. So what we've done now, as we see here, drilled the two holes so that this then can sit into there and then that can then be bolted down now and then give that the fixing point. So that's next job and then seal all that up. So now we're going to get some bondant and bond that to the top and then screw it in place. Better now. Mm. I think that's the hole in there. Right, do you want to do it now before you, before it starts to dry? I'll no, just try and fucking try and keep it on that way. And then obviously just do the other side as well. Okay, so we've now drilled that down. So that's facing the front of the van, obviously, so it's aerodynamic. And then we we'll just put a little bead around there. Um, apparently this stuff can be apply applied underwater. So we'll soon see as a good test because it's getting a bit overcast now. So I think that's uh, that bit done. Bosh. So what we're doing now, we're just drilling all the holes. And then we're gonna um, move the panel put some sealant on, put the panel back on the sealant, sealant through the bolts, and then put the bolts in as so. 
Right, so what we've done now, we've put the sealant on, and we've put the sealant under the mounts, and then we've put some sealant through the bolts, bolted those down. We've now got these in place. Um, we also tested the wiring down below to make sure there was an active current, which there is. Um, I've then just used some cable ties for the wires that cross between the two panels to keep them in place. Um, so now we're gonna cover the solar panels again with the sheet just to take any power out of the panels so that when we do the final wiring down below, which I'll show you in a minute, um, there's just no active current going through there. And then fingers crossed, we should have solar sorted and that's all the off-grid electrical system sorted. So see you in a sec. Right, so we've now got the panel uh, cables coming down through the roof. So we've got the charge panel now temporarily bolted to the side which goes to the battery. So you've got two loads going to the battery. The battery is obviously being grounded and then the cabling coming from the roof um, down through to the charge panel. So currently it's working. So this is the uh, moment of truth. So we're gonna see if it um, actually charges anything now. This will be interesting. So let's plug that in there. Beautiful, <laughs> look at that, eh? Wicked. Obviously, it's draining a bit of current out there, so I'll take that out. I don't want to do anything, because at the minute, the battery is quite low, but that should then fill up the battery enough to be able to charge my phones and everything. So thanks to Tynan behind the camera for helping <laughs> out as well. So it's getting there. The electrics are now pretty much done. Obviously, I'll need to wire in like my fridge and everything, but I've also got a switch panel that I'm going to be wiring in next. Um, but hopefully this um, made sense on how to fit a solar panel, a controller and solar panels. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon.